Today on Campground Recon, we will show you the 18 campsites at Lower Hermosa Campground. The big attraction to this area is the Hermosa Creek Trail which begins at the campground, as well as a network of nearby trails. Several of the nearby trails allow ATV and OHV vehicles, while the Hermosa Creek Trail is limited to hiking, horseback rides, mountain bikes, and motorized single track. Down in the comments, we'll include a current link to the Forest Service map of the trails in this area. So we're about six miles, I think, off of uh, the Million Dollar Highway, off of US Highway 550, north of Durango. The last two miles are dirt, and prior to that, the last couple miles, uh, the last mile at least of the paved road, has some pretty good sized potholes in it. Uh, first part of the dirt road is pretty washboarded trailhead parking is either to the left or straight ahead. No, uh, no day use parking in the campground. There's the Hermosa Creek Trail off to our right. Campsite number one, Camp Host, is on the left. Campsite number two is here on the left. It's a long one. Small picnic area. The 18 sites here are all first come, first serve. Fees are $18 per night with a 14 day stay limit. There is no water or trash service. Cell service is available with Verizon and AT&T. Campsite number three. Seat four is next to it as well. Long one, not quite level left to right. It's got a little bit of a tilt to it. Yeah, three I think was level enough to park a trailer on. You might just have to block it under one side. Here's a look at number four. This campground is located within the Hermosa Creek Special Management Area. The Hermosa Creek Wilderness, which was created in 2014, is not far west of the campground. In 2018, the 416 fire came close to this campground. Restrooms, and next to it is campsite number five. Site number six, off to the right. Campsite number seven, left side. Number eight will be on to our right side. Campsite 9 on the left. Tin is the pull off here on the right. This one looks like it's got a horse corral, unless that belongs to another campsite. Number 11 is a pull off. We do have 
have signal here. Yep, we got cell service with AT&T and Verizon. Pulling off into site 12. Thirteen on our left. I think that was number eleven. As they pull off that we can see back behind thirteen here. Site number 14 on the left. There is a corral back behind these sites that are on the, the inside of the loop. I'm just not sure which one has access to the corral, if it's all of them, or if there's a specific one that's meant for. Uh, Horse camping. Site number 15, pull off on the right side. Sixteen is on our left. And the red and white trailer. 17 and 18. 17 and 18 are side by side. Oops. So that corral was behind 17. day stay limit. Fees are $18 per night. Pack it in, pack it out. Yep. Clean the corral after use. give special mention to our supporters on Patreon. We'd also like to thank those who contributed in other ways. Thanks so much to all of you for your generous support. It helps keep gas in the tank as we continue our journey to visit every campground in Colorado. a road that is closed right now. There was a forest fire here a few years back. We'll keep the camera rolling as we go downhill for a few minutes.
blessed day.